Peter talked from the journalistic uh, perspective. As a politician, David Cameron at time investigated the political Islam, which is the idea to which many of the massacre victims belong, to be honest. Um, instead of investigating the regime action in the Rabah massacre. So it, yeah. it's, it's, <laughs> it's a quite strange. You chaired the Foreign Affairs mm. Committee. So um, how did you find the conduct of British government um, regarding dealing with Sisi, who admit or did the massacre, and with the political Islam? Well, the Foreign Affairs Committee under my chairmanship, we did an, an inquiry into political Islam. Um, and in parallel, we also did an, uh, uh, effectively an inquiry into, the, into Sir John Jenkins' inquiry into the Egyptian Muslim Brotherhood. And it was perfectly clear that he had been invited to go and find the evidence to, to, uh, to be able to nail the Egyptian Muslim Brotherhood as a terrorist organization. And he couldn't find it. Um, and so the conclusions in respect of uh, the Brotherhood in the, in the report are uh, entirely generous. There's no, um, uh, he couldn't find the smoking gun, literally. Um, and the fact that it was the, I suppose, the, the embarrassing thing, if you want us to actually believe in British fair play and, uh, and fairness, is that we found ourselves reporting on an, in, in an investigation into the Egyptian Muslim Brotherhood who had been on the receiving end of what happened at Rabah. And it had been done, as we've seen, knowingly and with malice of forethought. And they're probably rather grateful there were only a thousand casualties because it sounds as though they were, would have been prepared to tolerate 5,000. Um, and that's really an appalling thing to, uh, to think about. 